Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is David with Side of Tech, and in today's video, we're gonna be looking at this Belkin 3-in-1 charger with MagSafe. I'm gonna go ahead and unbox the product, and I'm also gonna go ahead and let you know my opinions and whether I recommend this product or not. All right, and you guys already know what to do. Go ahead and like and subscribe. That way you can keep up with all my future tech videos. And also go ahead and follow me on Instagram where I like to post videos and photos of everyday tech items that I like to use. And without any further delay, let's go ahead and check it out. All right, so let's go ahead and unbox this thing. Today I have a Spyderco knife. So we're gonna go ahead and get into this. You know, it's always nice to get brand new products, especially when they work with your current products. There we go. So the first few things we get in the box is a wall plug charger. Looks like it's specific to the charger itself. So let's set that off to the side. We have our instructions and all that. And then lastly, we have the charger. Whoa, let's go ahead and put this off to the side. So the charger comes with a little bit of protective plastic. So let's take that off now. There we go. And looks like on the bottom of the charger, we have some silicone or like some rubber on here. To keep it from slipping. And yeah, that's that's pretty grippy. So pretty much my first impressions of opening the charger. This does pick up a lot of fingerprints very fast. I can see a lot of them already. And also the black finish on here, it does pick up a little bit of dust. So just be on the lookout for that. They also make a white version. So maybe look into that if the dust is too much to handle. One thing I will say about Belkin is I love their product packaging. They always try to match apples, and I know they work closely with Apple, so I see where they get their inspiration from. But this is such a nice first impression when you first open this. And Belkin's design is always beautiful. So as you can see here, we have some aluminum accents along the charger. The base of the charger where you can charge your AirPods, it feels a little bit rubbery. It feels a little bit like silicone, so it's very soft to the touch. All right, so it looks like I have everything set up here. One thing to note is that the base of the charger comes with a little plug where it just fits in nice and flush and you don't have to worry about any kind of cable sticking out or causing any kind of friction whenever you slide the base around. So according to Belkin, we're gonna be getting 15 watts of charging. That's really fast. That's pretty much top of the line when it comes to Apple. So let's go ahead and start charging a couple of things. I have my iPhone here, I have my AirPods, and then I have my Apple Watch. So let's go ahead and see how they connect with the charger. So let's go ahead and get this hooked up. And that just sticks on right away. I was also watching a couple of other reviews and they said that the Apple Watch charger specifically kind of moved easily, but it doesn't look like it's doing that with my Apple Watch. It could be because of my band is kind of blocking it from doing it a little bit but it's staying still. There's no tilting or anything happening with this. All right, and then next we have the AirPods. So let's put that on there. And a nice thing to note is that this charger comes with a little LED light to let you know that your AirPods or whatever device you put down here is charging. And then lastly, let's put on the iPhone. And there you go, that just sticks on right away. A main feature on this product is that it can go landscape, or portrait style. And this works perfectly for going on to my desk because I'm gonna go ahead and use this charger on my desk. If I ever need to display something on my iPhone, I can go ahead and watch it sideways. And that just works for me and my productivity. And now let's test it with the Apple leather case. So there we go. Oh yeah, and that just sticks on right away. Doesn't seem like it's gonna come off or anything like that. All right, and for fun, let's try the Apple wallet. So let's see if that got, oh, <laughs> there we go. It sticks on. But now let's see with the phone. All right, so I have my iPhone 12 here, my iPhone 12 Max, the big boy. And then I have the leather case with the Apple wallet. Let's see, you guys think it'll stick? I don't think it's gonna stick. Whoa, oh, no. Let's, let's try that one more time. 
No, it, it just keeps sliding off. That was worth a try. So the charger comes in at $149.99. 150. Yeah, that's pretty pricey for a charger. So do I recommend the charger? Well, a little bit of a hot take and I have a little bit of a suggestion for you guys. I recommend this charger for people who specifically use this on their desk. Just because for the fact that this charger can let your phone go landscape. You can be at your desk doing what you need to do at your computer and also have your phone landscape or portrait style and just be able to watch stuff on it and just be able to keep up with your notifications. This is who I recommend this product for. So probably one of the biggest competitors to this charger is the Apple Duo charger. This charger comes in at 129. It also supports charging up to 14 watts. So it's just one watt shy of the 15 watts of this charger. But the thing is, do you pay the extra $20 to have this third section where you can charge your AirPods or another wireless item? I think that's a pretty good deal. $20 for an extra wireless charging pad is pretty good. Like I said, I recommend this charger for your desk setup, maybe your nightstand if you can afford the $149.99. And for the duo charger, I recommend this to just go with you whenever you travel, or you can just use it at your nightstand. I already have a little ring forming just from using this charger for the first time. It's a little bit more of a ring effect than with the duo charger. So just be on the lookout for that. And it also looks like Belkin has a two year warranty with this charger just in case anything goes wrong, as long as you register your product. And also they have 90 day returns, which is pretty sweet. All right guys, so in conclusion, do I recommend this product? I do for people who want to use this charger as their main desk setup charger. If you have $149.99 to spend on this charger, and you don't really care about the landscape mode or anything like that, then you can go ahead and use it for your nightstand. But like I said, I'm gonna go ahead and use this on my desk and that's where I recommend you use it as well. I'm gonna go ahead and link this product down below. That way you guys know where to pick this thing up. And then also in a comment, I'm gonna go ahead and update you guys in about a week or so, just to let you know how I feel about the product. Thank you so much for stopping by today's video. I really appreciate it. And go ahead and like and subscribe. That way you can keep up to date with all my future tech videos. And also follow me on Instagram where I post dope photos of products that I review and also future products that I will review. All right, and with that being said, thank you so much for stopping by today's video. This is David serving you a little side of tech and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.